Hey, it's Chris again, coming from sunny South Florida. That's right, Margate, Florida. And what do we have today? Oh, by the way, that is our phone number. So make sure you're calling that number when you're looking for us, and that's our website, does end in a dot net. So what are we talking about today? Well, we got something new. Now, as you know, I love the folding covers. I, this is a backflip MX-4, but what do we have here? Well, we have the Truxedo Elevate system with the Truxedo rails. Now, I have not done this setup before, and as you can see from looking at it, it does work really well. So I'm gonna go into both the cover, I'm gonna go into the racks, and I'll kind of go into some of the changes we had to do to make this work. So let's go into first things first. A lot of people are gonna ask, oh, is does the tailgate work with this cover? As you can see, it works just fine, has no problem with the cover. So you can do it either or, so you can do it this way. Oops, I'll get it, and then this way, here we go. Now, on your cover, you're gonna have a left and right, Pull that now if you notice right here she barely clears actually she was such a tight fit i had to switch the hardware opposite <laughs> just so it would clear because this is a little smaller hardware uh, but hey it works i was a little concerned i told the customer i was like well uh when you put the the t-slot rail if you come over here john with the, the camera i was a little concerned because it does bring it up and bring it in that the cover wouldn't close but as you can see here close it just fine now what I did on the T-slot rail here, I don't know if you, this is the part the racks connect to. Technically you got three parts. You got the cover, you got the racks, and you got the rails. Now what I did was, they don't make the rails exact fit to the vehicles. Uh, they usually, you know, they have them five and a half and they go, what, six, four, whatever it is. And uh, what I did is I got a little longer rail and I cut it to be exact match to the rails in this. Uh, and it works really clean. Another thing we did is luckily they give you extra foam uh, which we were able to seal up all the way around here because you do have to add a few extra seals here and there to make everything works good. Now, a lot of people are going to ask, hey, my Honda has that extra uh, trunk in the back. Will that work? Well, you, uh, let's take a look here. It does work just fine. Now, if you look closely, it does hit the rail, but you have full access in here. I haven't had one person say they can't get in here. Um, so. It has really no effect whatsoever. If somebody says, oh, I can't access the bed, well, take a look at it. I mean, only a fool says they couldn't do that. So that works just fine. And again, this goes here. You can open it that way. It all works really good. Now, um, as you can see, it's all clamped in here. Now we did keep the tie downs in here. Uh, even though the direction shows we're moving them, we just put them back on when we're done. I like to have them. Now, again, if you look over here, let's go back to the cover. It does clear. The racks, not by a lot. Now, when you go into the trucks your website, they're gonna basically give you a choice of a full-size truck or a mid-size truck. The Hondas are not quite a full-size truck. It's not a mid-size truck, it's slightly in the middle. We went with the mid-size racks with do work just fine. If you want to come out a little further, like you can get a full-size truck one like this one. Um, I think they look a little cleaner when they're all lined up here. Now, if you look closely, this is at the 28 inches height. Now, my truck here, I have them at the 18 inches height. Now, if you look over here, you'll see an extra set of holes right here. That's with this slides down and bolts in here, and that's your 18 inches. Now, if I bring it down to eight inches, 18 inches, it will not clear the cover. The cover will hit this little guy right here. Now, I did some measurements here. I could make an extra set of holes, roughly somewhere around three and a half inches, somewhere around, uh, basically right about there, and this will come down. Now. His concern was he's gonna put something really long over here, he wants to make sure he clears his antenna here. So we left it at the full height, but I did give him the option of coming back later and we, uh, we put an extra set of holes and bring it down a couple of inches. It's not a lot because if you measure where that antenna is, it looks like there's a huge dis distance. It's really not, it's only like an inch and a half, if that. Uh, so we really couldn't, if you wanna clear the antenna, you can't bring it down too much. If you don't care about the antenna, uh, you just care about the cover part, then you can bring it down further. So also, if you look over here, you can see the, the drain system. And basically, there's already pre-made holes in the bed. Um, usually, I like to go in the sides. On this bed, I did not want to go in the sides. Uh, I, went, I went into a hole that was kind of already pre-made. I just made it bigger for the, the drainage system. Uh, and the one of the reasons I always go in the sides is in case plywood would, would knock it out. But because of the tie downs, they're kind of right in front of the, the drainage system. That's not going to happen. So, um, But as you can see, everything's working really good. Also, if you look here, we got some tie downs right here. Now, if you can see the whole truck is moving. These aren't really good. Nothing's moving. It's a really good setup. So you got these racks here. You got your tie downs here. 
Now, the racks themselves have a T-slot on the bottom and a T-slot on the top. Now, if you look over here, you can put something like this with these little loops up on the top of the rail. Like if you want, if I want to put this up here, I could because there's a T-slot here. Um, technically, I could put a set of these up here if I wanted to. Uh, so if you have something you're going to put up there, you can add all these extra things like it's on my truck would work on this truck here. Again, uh, the Hondas are great vehicles. Uh, he's got, again, he's using it for kind of more outdoor stuff. Uh, but if you want to put his ladder up there or anything else, you can. But as you can see, everything works just fine. Now, as you notice here, this does fold all the way up. It lets you have full access to the bed. And that's real important. Now, you can drive it like this. Basically, you take this, you lock it in a place over here. You do both sides. It keeps it from uh, flapping in the wind, keeps it nice and secure. These are your bu bumpers here, protect here as well. And if you want to drive with it all the way open, it does have a, and I'll show you real quick, this goes all the way up here. And you got your little arms right here. So basically you loosen this guy up and that slides over there and locks in place. You got to do both of these uh, while you're driving. Uh, if not, the wind could catch it, uh, you know, because you're moving around and stuff. Um, so you want to secure both sides. It's real important to do that. Again, when they're not used, I recommend leaving them up. Uh, I hate to say, occasionally I get a phone call and so it's like, they don't work, they don't work. You know, it's like, they just light them up. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I try to remind people, leave it up, you know. Uh, again, you get your, your dual mechanisms, left or right, wherever you have passenger side, driver's side, you can open it up, not a problem. Now, of course, the first question people want to ask, hey, they got the racks, how much does this hold? And that's a really good question. Now, basically, the racks themselves have three different weights. They're like, how can it have three different weights? Well, it depends what you're doing with it. If you're off-roading and you got uh, some stuff up here and you're going up mountains, whatever, you're really off-roading, 250 pounds. If you're driving around town, which is like what my truck mostly does, 500 pounds, that's, that's pretty good. If you're parked, now he's actually, I think he wants to go at, uh, uh, overlaying with the tent. It's 750 static weight. What does static weight mean? That means it's not moving. You're parked, you're, you're ready to do camp, you got your tent, you bring it down, it'll hold 750 and that's quite a bit. Now the weight of this also depends on what the weight of the vehicle can handle. Now most uh, sides of the trucks are very strong and they're usually a lot more than 750. They're probably closer to 1200 or more, maybe 1500, depending on the truck. But you know, 750 is what these are rated for. Um, and again, this is all, you know, you got your T slots here. It's a, it's a great setup and I like it a lot. I think it looks good. And again, you can lower this or you can actually remove this if you don't want to use this all day long. Basically, you just take the hardware off and it comes right out for you, not a problem. So again, it's a great setup. Anything you see here, we can take care of you. We do put a one year warranty on the labor of everything we did. Uh, and like I said, there are some slight modifications to make this work. If you purchase it from us, I will tell you everything we had to do. Now, if you didn't purchase it, you go buy it somewhere else and you're having a lot of problems. You figure, well, I'll just call Chris. I'm sorry, uh, I'm only gonna help my customers. If you don't wanna choose to purchase from us, that's great, but I can't help you. So if you're gonna buy from us, you get the benefit of us. We're here to help you, especially with some more complicated things like this. This is about three hours of work, but we take our time. We make sure it's done right. Again, I'm doing a review. This is Chris with CNH Auto Accessories doing the review on the Truxedo Elevate system. We're doing the, the rails with the tie downs and the backflip MX-4, which by the way, has a five year manufacturer warranty and it holds 400 pounds, I forgot to mention that. Uh, and that is evenly distributed. Uh, and I give you one year on the labor, so that covers that as well. So I, I think I got it all. And Double we don't, install? huh? Double line install? Oh yes, if we install it for you, uh, we work with Truck Hero, we're an authorized Truck Hero dealer. And guess what? We double the warranty from five years to 10. That's really good. So that, we don't charge extra for that, by the way. That's something we give to our customers at this time. Things might change in the future, we'll see. But right now you're gonna double the warranty if we install it for you, of course, and if you buy it from us. Again, if you don't live in the state of Florida, you say, I live in Portland. I live in Hawaii, I live in Puerto Rico. Guess what? We ship it all over the country. We're a modern, modern company, you know, so we can get it to you. Uh, so don't feel like if you don't live here in sunny South Florida, you live in Texas. By the way, Texas buys a lot from us. In California too, we can take good care of you. So give us a call, we'll help you out with any of that stuff. Again, this is Chris with CNH Auto Accessories doing a review of the Backflip MX4, the Truck Seal Elevate System, and the Truck Seal T-Slot Rails. Thank you.